Welcome to Saving Castles, the podcast for castle and chateau enthusiasts. Join us as we explore the fascinating history, stories and culture of these awe-inspiring structures, from the legends and folklore to the latest in restoration. We'll cover it all, so whether you're a seasoned castle aficionado or just discovering the magic of these magnificent buildings, this is the podcast for you. So grab your headphones and let's dive in. Welcome, dear listeners, to another enthralling episode of our podcast. Today, we will delve into the captivating world of Chateau as we explore their rich history, architectural wonders, and the enchanting stories behind them. So, get ready to be transported to a bygone era and immerse yourself in the charm and grandeur of French Chateau. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast for more fascinating insights into the world of Chateau. Now, without further ado, let's begin our journey defining a chateau. So, what exactly is a chateau? Derived from the old French word chastel, a chateau is a stately residence or fortress typically found in the French countryside. While the word chateau is often used interchangeably with castle, it's important to understand the distinctions. Castles were primarily built as fortified residences, whereas chateaux were opulent homes for French nobility and royalty. However, French chateaux are not limited to grand palatial structures. They also encompass charming country estates and fortified wine-producing properties. It's the epitome of elegance, sophistication and grandeur. Throughout this podcast, we'll explore the architectural styles, history and stories that make each French chateau a treasure trove of beauty and intrigue. The evolution of French chateaux. The history of French Chateau dates back to the 9th and 10th centuries when France was under the rule of powerful feudal lords. As political power and wealth grew, so did the desire for grand residences that reflected this newfound status. Thus, the French Chateau was born. The early French Chateau, built during the medieval period, were characterized by their defensive structures and military architecture. As France transitioned into the Renaissance, Chateau evolved into grand palatial residences that showcased the wealth and power of the nobility. The French Chateau of the 16th and 17th centuries are true masterpieces of architecture, featuring ornate decorations, elaborate gardens, and a harmonious blending of art and nature. Iconic French Chateau with more than 40,000 chateaux spread throughout the French countryside, it is impossible to cover them all in one episode. However, let's take a closer look at some of the most iconic French chateaux that have stood the test of time and continue to captivate visitors. Chateau de Chambord this French chateau is the epitome of Renaissance architecture. Commissioned by King Francis I in 1519, it boasts an intricate façade, monumental double helix staircase and sprawling gardens. Its elaborate design has sparked countless stories and legends, with some speculating that Leonardo da Vinci may have contributed to its conception. Chateau de Versailles Arguably the most famous French chateau in the world, the Paris of Versailles was once the epicenter of French royalty and political power. Originally built as a hunting lodge by King Louis XIII, it was transformed into a sprawling palace by his son, King Louis XIV, who famously declared, I am the state. Chateau de Chenonceau known as the Ladies' Chateau Chenonceau, was owned and shaped by several powerful women throughout its history, including Catherine de Medici and Diane de Poitiers. It spans the River Cher and boasts an enchanting blend of Gothic and Renaissance architecture, as well as exquisite formal gardens. Architectural Styles of French Chateau now that we have a deeper understanding of French Chateau, let's delve into the various architectural styles that contribute to their breathtaking beauty and grandeur. Over the centuries, 
the design of French chateaux has evolved, with each era leaving its distinct mark on these magnificent structures. Romanesque, one of the earliest styles evident in French chateau Romanesque architecture, dates back to the 10th and 11th centuries, characterized by its rounded arches, massive walls and small windows, Romanesque chateaus often feature, an austere, fortress-like appearance. Chateau de Lochers is a notable example with its impressive keep and Romanesque chapel. Gothic. By the 12th and 13th centuries, the Gothic style emerged, offering a striking contrast to the Romanesque style. Gothic chateau boasts ribbed vaults, pointed arches and flying buttresses, creating an air of grandeur and opulence. Chateau de Vincennes, with its soaring keep and intricate Gothic chapel, is a prime example of this style. Renaissance. The Renaissance period brought about a new era of architectural innovation. French chateaux from this time showcase a harmonious blend of classicism and ornamentation, with features such as symmetrical facades, intricate decorative details, and expansive gardens. Chateau de Chambord, as mentioned earlier, is an iconic representation of this style. Baroque. By the 17th and 18th centuries, the Baroque style began to take hold in France. Characterized by its elaborate ornamentation, dramatic forms, and theatrical flourishes, Baroque chateaux showcase the height of luxury and splendor. The Palace of Versailles, the ultimate symbol of royal excess, epitomizes the Baroque style. Neoclassical. The neoclassical movement emerged in the late 18th and early 19th centuries as a response to the extravagance of the Baroque and Rococo style. French chateaux from this period feature more restrained architectural elements, drawing inspiration from the classical forms of ancient Greece and Rome. Chateau de Malmaison was once the residence of Napoleon and Empress Josephine, is an elegant example of this style. Restoring and Preserving French Chateau Preserving the architectural and historical legacy of French Chateau is a monumental task, as these structures often require extensive restoration and maintenance. Thankfully, dedicated organizations, private owners, and passionate individuals work tirelessly to ensure the preservation and protection of these national treasures for future generations. One such organization is the French Heritage Society, which is dedicated to preserving and promoting French architectural heritage both in France and the United States. Through grants, educational programs, and restoration projects, this non-profit organization plays a vital role in ensuring the continued existence of countless French chateaux and historic sites. In recent years, innovative approaches to chateau preservation have emerged, such as crowdfunding campaigns and community-driven initiatives. For example, the Chateau de la Mort. Chandeniers was saved from ruin through a successful crowdfunding campaign, allowing thousands of individuals to become collective owners of the chateau and participate in its restoration. Preserving French chateau is not only crucial for maintaining the cultural heritage of France, but also for promoting sustainable tourism, education, and appreciation of history and architecture. It's a testament to the passion and dedication of chateau enthusiasts who understand the importance of these exquisite landmarks. Famous residents of French chateaux. French chateaux have been home to numerous notable figures throughout history, including kings, queens, artists, and writers. These influential individuals have left their mark on the chateau they inhabited, and their stories continue to captivate visitors. King Francois I, a major patron of the arts, Francois, I was responsible for commissioning the Chateau de Chambord, one of the most iconic French chateaux of the Renaissance period. Marie Antoinette, the ill-fated queen, spent her days at the Petit Trianon, a small chateau on the grounds of Versailles, where she sought refuge from the rigors of court life. Napoleon Bonaparte, the French emperor, 
along with his wife Josephine, resided at the Chateau de Malmaison, where they entertained foreign dignitaries and cultivated their love for art and horticulture. Leonardo da Vinci, the great artist and inventor, spent the last years of his life at Chateau du Clos Luc, which is now a museum dedicated to his life and work. French Chateau in film and literature. French Chateau have long served as captivating settings for films and literary works, transporting audiences to a world of elegance, romance, and intrigue. Some notable examples include Dangerous Liaisons, set in the opulent world of 18th century French aristocracy. This film adaptation of the classic novel was shot in several stunning chateaux. The Three Musketeers, Alexandre Dumas's iconic adventure novel, takes readers on a thrilling journey through 17th century France, featuring scenes set in palaces such as the Louvre and the Chateau de la Fere, Beauty and the Beast, the live-action adaptation of Disney's beloved animated classic starring Emma Watson and Dan Stevens was filmed at Chateau de Chambord, which served as the inspiration for the Beast's enchanted castle. Chateau inspired hotels and accommodations. For those who dream of experiencing the grandeur and luxury of French chateau firsthand, several chateaux inspired hotels and accommodations provide the perfect opportunity. These establishments, often set within beautifully restored historic chateaux, allow guests to immerse themselves in the opulence and charm of a bygone era. Chateau de Bagnols, nestled in the heart of the Beaujolais wine region, this 13th century chateau turned hotel boasts luxurious accommodations, a Michelin-starred restaurant and exquisite gardens. Chateau de Rieu. This 18th-century chateau hotel in Normandy offers elegant guest rooms, a gourmet restaurant, and a relaxing spa, all set within a beautiful park. Chateau de Rochecourt, once the residence of Prince Talleyrand and the Duchess of Dino, this stunning chateau in the Loire Valley has been transformed into a charming hotel, complete with period-style guest rooms and beautiful gardens, wine, and gastronomy in French chateaux. Many French chateaux are located in renowned wine-producing regions such as Bordeaux, Burgundy, and the Loire Valley. These chateaux often boast their own vineyards and wineries, producing world-class wines that reflect the terroir and wine-making traditions of their respective regions. Chateau Margaux, one of the most prestigious wineries in Bordeaux, Chateau Margaux, produces acclaimed red wines that are highly sought after by wine enthusiasts worldwide. Chateau de Pomard, situated in the heart of Burgundy, this historic chateau is surrounded by lush vineyards and offers wine tastings, guided tours, and even wine education programs for visitors. Chateau de Villandry, known for its exquisite gardens, this Loire Valley Chateau also produces a range of organic wines, allowing visitors to sample the region's diverse wine-making styles. In addition to wine, French chateaux often celebrate the rich culinary traditions of France, offering gourmet dining experiences that showcase local ingredients and regional cuisine. The Art of French Chateau Gardens The gardens of French Chateau are masterpieces in their own right, reflecting the artistry and vision of landscape architects throughout history. From the geometric precision of formal French gardens to the romantic charm of English-style landscapes, Chateau Gardens are an essential aspect of their allure. Chateau de Villandry. The gardens of Villandry are among the most famous in France, with their intricate geometric patterns, colourful flower beds, and extensive vegetable gardens. Chateau de Gibbony. Home to the renowned painter Claude Monet, the gardens at Gibbony inspired some of his most iconic works, such as the Water Lily series. Chateau de vaux le vicomte This Stunning Chateau features an expansive garden designed by André Notre, the landscape architect responsible for the gardens at Versailles. 
the grounds showcase intricate parterres, fountains, and sculptural elements, providing a harmonious balance between art and nature. French chateaux beyond France. While the majority of chateaux are located in France, the influence of French chateau architecture has extended beyond its borders. Chateau, inspired buildings can be found in several countries, showcasing the enduring appeal of this architectural style. Biltmore Estate, United States. Inspired by the chateau of the Loire Valley, this grand mansion in Asheville, North Carolina, is the largest privately owned home in the United States and offers visitors a glimpse of American Gilded Age opulence. Liechtenstein Castle, Germany. This picturesque castle, nestled in the Swabian Alps, is reminiscent of a French chateau with its elegant design, steep roofs, and intricate stonework. Palacio de Queluz, Portugal, often referred to as the Portuguese Versailles. This 18th century palace combines French and Portuguese architectural styles, creating a truly unique and visually stunning chateau inspired structure. Conservation challenges and the future of French chateaux. As we have explored throughout this episode, the preservation of French chateau is crucial in maintaining the cultural heritage and architectural legacy of these historic landmarks. However, conservation efforts face several challenges, including funding, climate change, and changing social dynamics. Funding. The restoration and maintenance of chateau could be costly, requiring significant financial resources. Organizations like the French Heritage Society and Saving Castles, along with private owners and crowdfunding campaigns, play a vital role in securing the necessary funds for these projects. Climate change. As climate change progresses, French chateaux may face an increased risk of weather-related damage, such as flooding, storms, or temperature fluctuations, which can threaten their structural integrity. Changing social dynamics. With a shift towards urbanization and modern lifestyles, maintaining the relevance and appeal of French chateaux can be a challenge. Innovative solutions, such as adaptive reuse or community engagement programs, can help ensure these historic structures continue to captivate future generations. By addressing these challenges and promoting the importance of chateau conservation, we can work together to preserve these architectural masterpieces and the rich history they embody for generations to come. As shadow enthusiasts, it's our responsibility to advocate for their preservation, support conservation efforts, and educate others about the significance of these magnificent structures. Chateau, inspired design in contemporary architecture. While French chateaux are often associated with historic architecture, their influence can be seen in contemporary design as well. Modern architects and designers continue to draw inspiration from the elegance and grandeur of chateau-style elements, incorporating them into contemporary spaces and structures. Neoclassical Revival The timeless appeal of classical proportions and symmetry inspired by chateau architecture can be found in many contemporary buildings, particularly in residential design. Interior Design Luxurious materials, ornate details, and opulent furnishings reminiscent of French chateaux are frequently used in high-end interior design, evoking a sense of sophistication and refinement. Landscape architecture, the artful design of chateau gardens, with their harmonious balance between nature and human-made elements, serves as inspiration for contemporary landscape architects, who seek to create beautiful, functional, outdoor spaces. As we continue to explore and appreciate the world of French chateau, it's essential to recognize the ongoing impact and relevance of their architectural and design legacy. By incorporating chateau-inspired elements into modern spaces, we pay homage to the rich history and artistry of these magnificent structures, while also reimagining their beauty and elegance for contemporary audiences.
We hope this expanded journey into the world of French chateau has been both enlightening and captivating. As chateau enthusiasts, it's important that we continue to explore, appreciate, and preserve these awe-inspiring structures for future generations to enjoy. Remember that our appreciation for these architectural marbles goes beyond their physical beauty. It also encompasses the countless stories, historical events, and cultural legacies that are woven into the very fabric of each French chateau. By delving deeper into the rich tapestry of French chateau, we not only enrich our understanding of history, but also our appreciation for the artistic, architectural, and cultural achievements of the past. As we conclude today's episode, we encourage you to visit these magnificent French chateaux when you have the opportunity to experience their grandeur and enchantment firsthand. Keep exploring, learning, and supporting the preservation of these architectural masterpieces, for they are the windows to our past and the bridges to our shared cultural heritage. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Saving Castles podcast. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll continue to explore the fascinating world of castles and chateaus. Don't miss out and subscribe to our podcast to get notified when new episodes are released. For more information about us and our work, visit savingcastles.com. Thank you for listening. <laughs>